are you? And what do you think you're doing? You a wise ass? Or just stupid? Okay, stupid. Let's go see the boss. Find someone else to bother, local. Come on, I'll show you to the command room. If you didn't notice, I'm busy. Get lost. Come on, I'll show you to the command room. If you're here to help, then help. If not, back off. Protector, like you asked. Thank you, Defender. Give us a moment, please. Sir, I'm going to say again that I don't like this idea. Noted, Defender. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Look, Wastelander, I'm not sure what brings you here, but we don't like surprise visits from the local populace. You're lucky you weren't killed. But maybe there's more to you than the average rubble dweller, hmm? That computer there on your wrist. Maybe you can be useful to us after all. If you can help, then I suspect it will definitely be worth your time. Records indicate there's some high-value tech in this base, but we can't get to it. The armory is sealed by a blast door and we can't get it open. We're pretty sure anyone who completes the facility's VR simulation program will gain access, but it requires a certain interface. Unfortunately, we don't have one. You do, right there on your wrist. I need you to go into the simulator and complete that program, which will unlock the armory. You'll get a share of the gear, of course. It's the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from Chinese communists. It was a pretty significant event in American history, according to our scribe. I won't lie to you. It's heavy combat, safety protocols disengaged. That means you die in the sim, your body goes into massive cardiac arrest. You're still listening, so I'm going to assume you're interested. But time's wasting. Sibley can take you to the pod. Olin will get you briefed. If you want to walk away, you're free to leave. My men won't stop you. Watch it, local. I've said my piece. If you're interested in assisting, follow Sibley to the simulation pod. Olin will help you get jacked into the sim. Find someone else to bother, local. Shouldn't you be huddling in a cave somewhere?
you're here to help, fine. Otherwise, out of my way. I'm listening. Just hear me out. I've been thinking. Imagine what a group like Talon Company could do with the two of us. Huh? You and me, go and murk. Troop, you are having a serious malfunction. Would you listen to yourself? That's treason. Come on, you know I'm right. I overheard what you said yesterday. You still here? Because some of us have orders to follow. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you alone. So you can pretend everything's fine. But you're kidding yourself. You know that. Hey, watch it! friend for you. What? Yep. Let's hope you treat this one better than the last guy, huh? <laughs> Go to hell, Sibley. You know that wasn't my fault. Sure, whatever. Just make some progress, okay? We're all looking to get out of here. Fine. Then get out and let me do my job. Oh, great. Just what we need. Oh, this thing is some kind of training sim, near as we can figure. Guess you can tell us more when you come out. If you're here to help, then help. If not, Back off. You're here to help? Fine, then put this on. Get in the chair, and we'll run the simulation. Oh, I'm sorry. Things have been tense here lately, and I'm afraid it's getting the better of me. I shouldn't be taking it out on you. Did you need something? We're doing our jobs, locating technology, preserving it, and making sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Someone has to safeguard the future of the human race, right? McGraw thinks there's something of value here. I know not everyone agrees, but based on what I've seen, I think he's right. Don't you know? This sim had to have been one of the most important of its time. It's the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from the Chinese. Not up on your history, huh? Back before the world was nuked, the Chinese had invaded Anchorage, Alaska. That really amped things up. Eventually, the Americans went in and liberated the city, but there were heavy losses. This simulation trained soldiers for that engagement. Anyway, the technology here is impressive, but something's a bit off. Records suggest even some of the people who built this didn't understand it. The simulation needs an external interface device to run correctly. I'm not exactly sure why. The records on that are spotty at best. We figured out that your Pip-Boy there will suffice. Since you're kind of attached to it, you go along with it. You should be fine, assuming you can actually get some results. Don't forget to put the neural interface suit on first. We can't hook you up until you're wearing it. Find someone else to bother, local. I've said my piece. If you're interested in assisting, follow Sibley to the simulation pod. Olin will help you get jacked into the sim.
That was a hell of a nasty fall. When your shoot bunched up like that, I thought you were gone. I hope the other guys made it. I don't think their patrol spotted us coming in. So at least we still have the jumper. You still have your gear, so I'm gonna let you make the call. You can go in quiet, the guns blazing. We'll still meet at the rendezvous point inside this plan. Then we'll blow those artillery guns to hell. Just watch yourself. The Reds up here don't take prisoners. Good luck.
God damn, this place is swarming with reds. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I almost bought it out on the cliffs. Didn't know the reds were so handy with a sniper rifle. So, what's the situation? We clear to blow the hell out of this place? Yeah, I can spare a few rounds. I got your six. company up there. Get out of my That's how we do things in the court. Audio log begin. This is Captain Zachary Lloyd, United States Army, Anchorage, Alaska Security Detachment. We are approximately two hours into the Chinese assault on this outpost. We are being shelled non-stop, indiscriminately. The entire base is under bombardment from the Chinese ships, and they don't care who they hit. All accounts indicate they've actually killed more of their own men than ours. They just do not seem to care about their own troops at all. At this rate, the entire mountain will be a graveyard in less than an hour, and then the Chinese will just move in and set up shop. God help us. God help America.
eyes peeled for copies. They're around. I can smell them. Molly, I hope this tape gets to you. Some way, somehow. I don't have a lot of time, but you need to know what happened to me. The early reports weren't bullshit. The Chinese are here. As in, they're invading Anchorage in force, right now. This is the real deal. It makes Pearl Harbor look like an academy exercise. I've never seen so many goddamn warships. Sergeant Lowry has ordered the platoon to assemble in the mess in 15 minutes. The plan is to dig in on the cliffs and slow the Chinese advance until the civilian contractors can evacuate. And then... Then we hold the line, for as long as we can. I talked to Derny, Cielo, and Dallas, and we all agreed. Surrender is not an option. I never told you, but... That night in Cleveland, on the Ferris wheel, that was when I fell in love with you. Goodbye, Molly. I... I'm sorry. This is Private First Class Henry Hodges, signing out. Through this next structure is the entrance to the artillery base. I don't know what they got waiting for us. So we'll keep a sharp watch. anymore where this
Keep your eyes peeled for comets. They're around. I can smell them. Don't let one of those commies get away. Oh, over there! Get Is that all you got? Audio log begin. This is Captain Zachary Lloyd, United States Army Anchorage, Alaska Security Detachment. Approximately 23 minutes ago, Chinese Communist forces set foot on Anchorage soil, despite our soldiers' best efforts to prevent that landing. As expected, the Chinese have launched a two-pronged attack, one aimed at occupying Anchorage proper, and the other at securing this base. Thanks to our entrenchment, U.S. casualties here on the mountain are currently minimal, but that's not going to last for long. Chinese reinforcements appear to be endless. It's just a matter of time before we're overrun. We'll die today, but by God, we'll give those communist sons of bitches a black eye they'll never forget. Lloyd out.